What's up, guys? I'm Emerald Marie, and be sure to check us out on the web at realfansrealtalk.com. This is your African King's Come, Michael Blackson. You're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Get real with it, my son. Right. Well, listen, they saw something in them. You know, hopefully, you know, it, it works out because, I mean, they have been on a crazy downward spiral ever since uh, 28 3 happened. Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 yeah. They, they've been... <laughs> yeah they, they've been on a downward spiral and they, their defense, they're slowly breaking up that defense. So they had to go defense. I definitely expected them to do that. I thought there were some other guys. I, I definitely thought Chase on from, um, from LSU was probably the best fit. Um, yeah. Because not only does he fit need, but he was also just a really good player. Again, a guy who can get to the quarterback, a guy who can play in coverage. And they let go of Vic Beasley, who was kind of that same mold of guy. So it's going it's to be interesting to see how this kid pans out for him, because I do think it was a reach. You think about Trufant. They, they, got, they got Trufant over there still? Yeah, but Trufant's a little old. I think Trufant's 31 now. Yeah. yeah. Um, so he's, so he's, he's about to start slowing down. Yeah, you got you to gotta start finding his replacement. But they were really high on C.J. Henderson, and we saw him go early at number nine. So that's what leads me to believe this pick was more about them just saying this was the position we wanted to draft anyway as opposed to who's the best available. Do you, do you think the, the Cowboys take uh, Xavier McKinney with this pick? You think, it's, you think that's a possibility? It definitely is. Now, they did sign Ha Ha Clinton Dix in free agency. Uh, so um, you know what? Yeah, maybe, maybe they don't they don't. Yeah, go, so uh, they may pass on – they may pass on McKinley here, but they do need safeties, and and I agree. I think I like McKinley here. I'm interested. Or does Jerry just Jerry... go with with uh, CD Lamb? I, yeah. I just feel like yeah, Jerry's going go to say, Lamb. I do. I do. I, do I, I think. Listen, Jerry. Jerry is like that dude that you bring around ladies that you know he's gonna get overly excited if they give him any <laughs> little bit of play. <laughs> if they give him any little bit of play, he go get he go he go get too excited. So. You know he loves them, them Oklahoma dudes. Yeah. And C.D. Lamb sitting there. That's he, what I'm he, saying. Is like, I'm, I feel like he got to do it. He can't help he himself. Had that look, he had that look on his face like Christmas came early. Like, yes, this is what yeah. I've been waiting for. Yeah, I don't, he can't help himself. I think he's going to do it. I think he's going C.D. Lamb with, uh, with this pick. Got Mike McCarthy's over there. Yeah. I mean, listen, you can't go wrong drafting C.D. Lamb if you're the, nah, if you're the, the, the Cowboys. Really However, bad. you probably should work out your quarterback situation. I mean, <laughs> bringing all we, these we know receivers. they got to work that out. But, I mean, it, again, it's about value. You're at number 17. If you can get a guy at number 17 that was projected to be top 12, top 15, yeah. C.D. Lamb and, and Mari Cooper. Let me ask you a and question. Do you think if they didn't sign Cooper yet and C.D. was here, they draft um, C.D.? And the money they were going to give to Cooper, they don't sign Cooper, but they they uh, give it more to that. You think that would have been a possibility? Mm, Absolutely. Nah. You think so? Because no, I, I think, think they with that with they, they what they gave up to get him. It's I feel different. like you gotta you gotta keep Amari Cooper at that point. You gave him a first round draft pick for him. I I think they would have still tried to keep him. I'm not saying they wouldn't keep him, but I think without a doubt, if you have the leverage of knowing that I already have C.D. Lamb in, in tow, then yeah. you probably don't go as crazy to keep Amari. Um, uh, but there was there was no way of knowing that CD Lamb was going to be here at this point. Yeah, yeah. You couldn't even run that risk. Is this CD Lamb's girlfriend sitting next to him on the couch? Because she looking like she completely out of it. She don't want to be there right now. She's supposed to be a little more hyped up for you. Uh, she your, thought your, your she probably cause... thought they was she probably she probably thought they was going to New York at eleven. <laughs> and now it's like, oh, we going to we going to yeah. Dallas. All right, <laughs> and, and, and that paycheck gonna be a little smaller now too because we done right. went so far back in the track. <laughs> when they was mapping out the teams, you know what I'm saying? I mean, she she's completely dressed up. Everybody else is pretty casual. Man. Yeah, but um, uh, you know what I'm saying? She thought she was thinking, all right, we either doing New York, we doing San <laughs> Fran, maybe yeah. we doing Vegas. She thought exactly. she was already yeah. thinking. She was already thinking they was doing Vegas. She thought yeah. they, Vegas was the move. And well, now she, might, like, she might get she Dallas. If she go to Dallas, she get... <laughs> Dallas she don't. Be... Dallas. <laughs> it, 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 it ain't hit like that? It, 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 don't, it don't sound as good as saying New York or Vegas. <laughs> yeah, listen, you're absolutely right.
So listen, maybe all right, so maybe if he's still on the board, maybe look, maybe look maybe at, the Dolphins do take him and then, and then they go hey, you can go to you can go to Miami. Jerry, look, look, they trying to show Jerry how to handle how to work the tablet. Oh my goodness, Jerry! You gotta get you get Jerry. you gotta get it together, bro. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry about he about six Johnny Walker blues in right this point. Yeah, like, yeah. Jerry gonna mess around, and be drunk, and say the wrong name. All right, here we go. Say it. Look, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry was taking a nap, and they woke him up when they got to the 14th pick. That's what happened. No, yeah, they woke him up and said CD Lamb is still available, so he's kind of halfway in, halfway yeah. out. Yep, there you go. Right. CD Lamb, they did it. Yeah, I knew, I knew he couldn't help it. Hey, Jerry can't resist. He can't resist. Listen, at the end of the day, he's the, he's the best. Problem, another four years and be pounds to be good. He's got to pay another guy. <laughs> yeah, he's the best slot receiver in the draft, and more than likely, he's going to be playing a lot of slot this season just because, you know, you got Amari uh, – Cooper out there already, um, so I'll probably be playing a lot of the slots. So it's actually is a pretty good pick for the for the for the for the Cowboys. Let me see. I don't, I don't, I don't think yeah, she's happy about uh, going to Dallas. So look, look, her, her facial expression suddenly changed. She ain't really happy about this. So we're gonna, yeah, we 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 we're gonna definitely see. But listen, again, they get a great wide receiver in CD Lamb, one of the you know, top three wide receiver in the, in this draft. So. So what? Oh, Gallup is playing the um the, uh, the other outside. Yeah, and um, yeah, you you'll probably leave Gallup on the outside and let CD rotate between playing the slot and playing the outside at times. Um, he won't exclusively be in the slot, but that's where he gives you the the best production out of. Yeah, and for them, that's that's what they're gonna. I mean, because uh, you know they already got a Amari Cooper and Gallup already, so he's one most likely to be playing that slot, at least for you know. For the foreseeable future. Well, now yeah. that that, that this opens is, things up pick. again, Miami is back up. Who does who do the Dolphins take now with this? Now do the Dolphins go safety and, and just take McKinney, or do they take another defensive position? Because they got a, they got a whole lot of spots they could be filling. This is this the top you know two out of the top three linebackers are still available on the board. Xavier McKinney again. He's the best safety on the board. There's a couple of you know spots they could they could fill right it's, now. It's, with this it's McKinley. It's McKinley. Yeah, because this it makes perfect sense. You replace Minka Fitzpatrick um, with a younger version of himself and a cheaper version of himself. Well, Minka was already young. He was a, that was his first year, but well, second year last nah, year. No, Minka. Yeah, that's but that's the thing. They they were able to if listen if you're able to flip a guy during your rebuild and then get his replacement and now you just added on more time to pay the the, the cheaper version of them which is crazy because they both came from alabama so right yeah. <laughs> they keep it in the yeah, family so, <laughs> right with minka with minka the tough choice would have been to pick up the fifth year option which they would have and then he starts making a big money in two more years now yeah. you're going to get four years of xavier mckinley on the cheap while you still rebuild no, so that's it's, a fact. It's, it's, hey, Miami, Miami to me is winning the draft. To be able to get two at number five, and then if you get McKinley now, another Alabama and guy. They, number they still got one more pick though. And that's the, that's what makes it even better. Pick. And they, they got a good pick. They got the twenty six pick. So yeah. that's that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and this is yeah, this, I think, this they, is I think they're good. Definitely getting interesting right now. Uh, let's see who they go, who they go with. I'm surprised it's taking this long for them to make this pick. They should already know they, they take Xavier and McKinney at this point. Yeah, man. It's not you know virtual draft I mean, it, ain't that it, it bad. It depends. I mean, yeah, you know, it's not. It's going smoothly, and it depends. I mean, I, I think it's McKinley, but they may have um, Winfield rated higher, who's another secondary and safety guy that's out there. Mm, yeah, he's a legacy. So they kid. may have him rated higher. Yeah, he's a legacy guy. His, his dad had a lot of good productive years in the NFL. So you know he may be the guy there. Or you know you guys mentioned earlier, do they take receiver? Do they feel highly enough about Justin Jefferson to take him at eighteen? Yeah. You know they they may like Jefferson here at eighteen and continue to build on the offensive side of things. So. I think it's McKinley though. McKinley just makes the most sense. It's it's the perfect replacement for Minka. Minka um, right. Yeah, and it's a, and again to be able to get a, a starter in your secondary at eighteen. That's great value.
back. Yep. Had to had to switch up the mic. My 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 phone phone died on me. Oh man. I so all you. right. Actually, mine mine is getting close to that point too. Right. Well, we we gonna we gonna try to try to wait this thing out as long as we can for you guys until once everybody's phone dies, <laughs> we're gonna get back with you. But I I am gonna uh actually get this up tonight um for you guys on because I know you guys want are gonna want to know how we broke down the draft and, and, and all the things that are that are going on right now. So I'm going to get this up late tonight. As soon as we get off the air, actually, it'll probably be up within the hour. So you guys at home can check this out. Um, you know, we got to do, we got to give y'all little gifts every now and then, you know, just because y'all been rocking with us for so long. If anything, let's, let's wrap after this Miami pick and that way it'll give you the opportunity to get it up by the time the draft is all over because it's probably still going to be about another I would say another 45 minutes or hour of draft coverage yeah because yes exactly okay all right so yeah so so we'll, we'll, we'll do that we'll, yeah we'll wrap we'll wrap after this one and then that way it'll get a chance to to try to get it all up um by the time everything ends tonight and it looks like the pick is in as well so let's see who the Dolphins are going with here They're going with Dennis Rodman. <laughs> with the 18th pick, they're going with Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Junior? Junior? <laughs> <laughs> I see they got the last dance. Yo, yeah, if you guys haven't already, you guys definitely check out the last dance. Uh, episodes one and two came out. I'm actually looking forward to episode three because uh, Rodman said in this episode they're going to do a lot of Rodman talk. Um, with this, with the third episode, so I'm looking forward to that, and that'll be this Sunday um, going down on ESPN. All right, Dolphins pick is in. They're saying the same. We 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 did pretty good, y'all. We made it. We made it to the 18th pick, so I think that, that that's pretty good. And we've been we've been on since about eight o'clock, so it's gonna be an extremely long episode. <laughs> but I'm sure you guys will enjoy it, man. Don't don't nobody break down football the way we break down football, so. It's not happening. Not happening. Yeah, that's a fact. I gotta see who's the best available players on the draft. And all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say this again because I, I remember I said uh, that the Bucks uh, sh should get uh, that running back in the second round. So I wanna I wanna see if they actually do that when we come back. I, I'll, I'll do like a little blog or something. Or if we come back for the second round, I'll so let's get you guys. All right, so while we wait for this, before we wrap up, let's do that. So, um, is that is that your your favorite player or the player you're most looking forward to seeing where he lands in the second round? Yes, just because I, I think he is going to – I think the Bucks will wind up drafting him. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the, the kid, uh, Clyde uh, Edwards-Hilaire. Um, so I, that's my that's my player. I think he's definitely going to go to the Bucks. He's, he's right. a perfect Nesta, who, who who are you looking for, um, whether it's late first round or second round, who, who are you most interested in seeing uh -huh. and where they land? What's his name? Um, what's the wide receiver I told you about from um, Jefferson? Nah, no, nah, no, nah, from Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Um, Clay. Uh, what's Clay, his yeah. last name? Clay. Yeah, yeah, I know. Big physical. He's like a six six receiver. He's like a tight end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He reminds me actually of a uh, member of. Uh, oh, uh, Chase, um, Chase Chase Claypool. Yeah. Yeah, Chase Claypool. Claypool. Yeah, Claypool. yeah, yeah. Yeah, he reminds me of David Boston. That was at Ohio State and that played with the Cardinals. Big. Right. Big brolic bodybuilder type dude. Where do you see him um, going? He's gonna go in. The, he's gonna go in the second round. He's gonna get a lot of intrigue. Um, he actually ran a pretty good forty time too. So he's not just like a big muscly guy either. He can move. Yeah. I can oh, see. I can see my Colts. I can see my Colts investing in him. Yeah. Um, because I think the Colts are gonna go with a with a with a wide receiver with their they. We've got two second round picks and the first one that we have is actually the, the second pick of the second round so I can see it's going with the receiver at that point okay now the the Dolphins just picked the offensive tackle they picked uh Austin Jackson so they so they actually don't go with Minka Fitzpatrick here they they showing up that offensive line I get it um he's the sixth ranked offensive tackle in, in the draft so you know they got they want to protect Tua and you know keep him keep him healthy. So they got they got to I guess address the offensive line, which means yo there are so many really good players oh, still. left on the board. It, it, it's crazy yeah. how many really good players there are. Wow, yeah, this is so this again. Is, Miami Miami may have on their rating. Owners they may have McKinley. 
and Winfield rated the same. So they may feel like, because remember, they still have a 26 pick in this first round. They may feel like we can get one of those safeties at 26. Yes, exactly. And therefore, we'll address the offensive line right now. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. So, you know, yo, your man, Austin Jackson, looked like your nephew right there, Trip. That picture nephew. where he's in the Jew. We, we was in his Jew. I got to like you, bro. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I didn't I, I didn't see the picture. I was, I was looking at the screen. Hold on, is it? Oh, uh, they gotta go back. It's, it was in, they in, had a picture. in his house. He was in, in no in his U football jersey. They would show him next to standing next to his sister. Hold on, let me see. Am I am I recording the draft? Damn it, I'm not recording this. I can't rewind this. Oh man, I should I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna send it to you. I'm All gonna right. send it to you. <laughs> but yeah, we'll we'll wrap it up now as we're getting ready to go into the 19th pick. Um, Hold on, can we? You know what? Can we actually? Can we? Can, let's can we, let's stay on the twenty-one because I want to see who okay. the Eagles go with for the twenty-first okay. pick, and then we'll and then we'll wrap it. Dang, actually, me, you know what? Let's go to twenty-three. Actually, all right. Let's see how long we can take it because I, I my charge is upstairs. So. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. We'll, 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 so we'll, so if, we'll I, rock, if I just get knocked off, if I just get knocked <laughs> off, you already know it just died. Yeah, I got you. We, we're gonna rock out until Eric's phone. Does. <laughs> I also like the running back, Jonathan Taylor, too. I like Jonathan Taylor. Taylor. From Wisconsin? I like him. Yeah, okay. from Wisconsin. I like him, but I think he's going second round. Second round, yeah. Yeah, he'll probably go mid-second. I think that's when we, 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 you're going to start seeing all the running backs um, in in the middle of the of the second round draft. You're going to see a lot of running backs uh, start going at that point. Uh, give me one second, guys. I'm going to refresh my beverage here yeah, yeah go ahead we're gonna we'll hold it down for a second the raiders are back on the sh- you know what the raiders may actually go mckinney right now too they got because they're back on the clock and he's available oh wait, maybe not let me see who the, who, the, who the raiders going with are they taking a linebacker okay we got to see yeah the Raiders may the Raiders may go defense on this. I think they're definitely going to go defense on this uh, on this next pick. Um, but whether they go linebacker or safety right now is the uh, is the question. I really want to see who the Eagles take too because I know the Eagles are are short at wide receiver. Um, and again, Justin Jefferson is is still available. Denzel Mims is uh, still available out of Baylor. There's a couple of, of, of really good wide Higgins. receivers like left. Higgins too? Say that one more time. T. Higgins. Uh, it's I don't know if he'll if he'll he'll, he'll probably wind up going a little bit later, but yeah, he's a, he's available as well uh, out of Clemson. Yeah. Yeah. So he's yes, he's he's pretty tall receiver too. As a matter of fact, that's six four. Let me see where they got him. Uh, Higgins ranked at amongst. Wide receivers, they got Higgins. I got him as, as the fifth best wide receiver in this uh, in this draft. I want to see uh, Michael Pittman Jr. I wonder where he's. I know he's not going to probably get drafted until right. tomorrow, but he's another one of those legacy kids that are available in this draft. So I want to see. I want to see where he winds up landing tomorrow as well. And he's a he's another tall receiver. About that guy, Brandon, uh, um, a UK, a UK, at Arizona State, he's pretty good as well. I don't think this, this, a, this a, a lot of really good wide receivers that are left on the board right now. This, this was a really deep wide receiver class, and this, yeah, there's a, there's a couple of guys. There's at least, there's at least ten really good wide receivers coming that will be coming up within the next two, two, three rounds that are are really good. Yeah. They were uh, the original projection was about 10, 10 wideouts within the first two two rounds. Yeah, so I, I think that's what we'll see. There's still uh, my nephew Jaden who who hung out with us this summer at uh, Hoops in the Sun. He's uh he's been chewing my arrow up for the past two weeks about Jalen Rager from TCU because he feels he's the next Tyreek Hill. <laughs> Listen, you know it's it's definitely it's definitely possible, but. I mean, Tyreek Tyreek Hill got uh, mm. Usain Bolt speed, so that's 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 some big shoes to fill. Yeah, 
J- I mean, the, the, the comparison with Jalen Rager and Tyreek Hill is, is because of their stature. They're like both. The corner. Right. Yeah, they, the Raiders went corner here, which is a little surprising because I did think this was Jordan Love territory. Yeah, I did. Um, wow. Scoop on this guy. Who's this guy right here? He's, he's, he's good? So, this kid here, it's, it's a little shaky because he, I, I wasn't too impressed with him. I saw some of his tape. I wasn't impressed with him. Now, I will say it's tough to be impressive when you're playing on the opposite side of, of Jeff Okuda because Jeff Okuda was so good on one side that somebody going to get picked on. You, you're you the other guy who's getting picked on. Yeah. But I I do think this was a little high. Um, I didn't think the Raiders were going to take McKinley because they took Abrams last year at safety, so they weren't looking for a safety. I'm, I'm, but, I'm surprised at this pick, though, because – they got uh, – this kid, Arnett, is the 13th-ranked cornerback yeah, in this, this is draft. A, this is a reach. This is a reach. This is a, this is a massive reach. Um, Last year they, they did a reach, too, that the guy panned out for them. Um, the dude who had picked number, like, four or, or five. What's the dude on they took, they took the they, they took the D lineman from Clemson last year. Um, they, they, you're, you're absolutely right. They jumped up, and they took him a little earlier than everybody expected. But this is a bigger reach because – this uh, is a guy that was not projected to go first round at all. Yeah. And with the amount of talent that's still on the board. Um, yeah, I don't understand it. Yeah. Now, listen, Mike Mayock is really good with the draft. Before he was a general manager of the Raiders, he did a bunch of these mock drafts. And NFL Network paid him a lot of money to break down talent. Yeah. So based on the excitement that I'm seeing coming from the Raiders cameras, they seem to think that this was their guy from jump. But, I mean, all the talent on the board, you think they could have got him, like, later on, probably? Yeah, absolutely. you might as well trade absolutely. down for that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. The, the value, they, they're starting to show his highlights now. Uh, the value wasn't there. Again, like I said, I don't want to pick on the dude because he was opposite Jeff Okuda. Okuda, they didn't throw the Okuda side, so they had to throw to his side. So, yeah. you know, that, that's, just, that's just the way it works. When you play alongside a, a shutdown corner, somebody's going to get picked on. So, therefore, we're going to see your flaws at the time. Yeah. But wow, I don't, I don't, shocked, I don't even that's... think the, the kid Gladney from TCU, who's another corner who's on the board, I thought Gladney was better than this kid. Um, you got so many. Again, you got Tra- uh, Trayvon yeah. Diggs out of Alabama. Yeah, Diggs. Yeah, still, yeah, still on, Diggs, the, yeah. on the board. Like, I don't know. I just really don't understand that pick right there. And I think yeah. is, Christian Fulton is still available too, right? It, um, yeah. At LSU, it, it, so. Mm-hmm. Fulton's still available. Uh, the linebacker Chase on is still available. Um, yeah, wow. it's a that's, reach. That's, it's that's, a reach. Yeah, if you, and I'm not even, it's not, it's not that he won't pan out, but, geez, you could have definitely traded down and got him. He was going to be there. Again, it's about understanding value. It's not. It's not that the guy isn't going to be good. Yeah. It's you're paying him first round money when you could have got him in the second round. Yes, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Sure. It's understanding value. You could have gotten him later and paid him cheaper for his services. Instead, you're paying him a premium now because he was the 19th pick in the yeah. draft. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That that that's uh, that keeps that's the still on the board now. At least you know it's definitely second round. You're still going to see more talent. Yeah, there's, 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 gonna be a lot there's of just, just so many great guys that are still available. There's a couple of quarterbacks, you know, you know that that uh, Jordan Jordan Love. Jordan Love, mm-hmm. Jordan Love still on the board. Um, Diggs is still on the board. McKinley obviously still on the board. Um, you got um, Winfield still on the board. Chase on still on the board. Justin Jefferson still on the board. <laughs> it's a lot of talent. Yeah, that's um, what as we. Uh, these last 12 to 13 picks, there's a lot of talent here. Now, keep this in mind, too, because this, this is where we get to the point of this is when we can find out how good of a GM you are. You got the Patriots lurking right now. The Patriots could lurk and end up with one of these top 15 type talents yeah. in the 20 range because other teams have reached. Yeah. Is, Bill, is Bill willing to take on Jordan Love and possibly have him sit for two years and develop them? Why not? I think he will. He, he had Garoppolo sitting. He had Brissett sitting. He had, uh, what was it, Castle Brady, sitting. Brady sat, Brady sat for his first year and a half. Brady sat, exactly. He probably would have been sitting longer had not been for injury. Right. So this is when the really good GMs start to show because 
um, as, as Tripp, you've, you've highlighted before, the Ravens, when they got Lamar, late first round. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, the good scouting, and that's the, you highlighted this earlier, the, the good scouting starts to show at this point because if you can get starting caliber talent late in that first round, I mean, that's, that's almost like hitting a home run because you get them for so much cheaper than what everybody was paying for them top 10, top 15 picks. Yeah, exactly. Well, he was going to pay Lamar Jackson cheaper than, you know, when it comes time to renew his contract. Right. Well, now, when it's time to renew his contract, no, they're going to be paying a lot then. Right. <laughs> but, yeah. but he yeah, he, but, cost, he was a little cheaper because he was drafted so late as opposed to if he had been drafted in, right. the, in the top half, you know, they would have they cost him a little I bit mean, more. You think – you think about the, the the struggles to build a competitive team. Lamar Jackson makes less money than Baker Mayfield. Yeah. So it makes it yep. easier for the Ravens to go out and go get a Calais Campbell. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And go get an Earl Thomas. You know what I'm the, saying? Go get a, get a Mark Ingram. A right. Because as opposed to us paying you 7 to $8 million because you were a top 10 pick, we're paying you 2.5. So now that allows us to go get the other veterans. You know, the same thing with the Chiefs. That's why the Chiefs were able to get Sammy Watkins when they did, because even though um, Mahomes was a first-round pick, he was middle of the first round. Yeah. So there was more money to go around. So you could lock up Kelsey. You can get Tyree Kill his money. You can do those things while you still have your young quarterback under his rookie deal. Yep. Exactly. All right, Jacksonville's on the clock. Does Jacksonville go defense? They went defense with their first pick. Um, they went with C.J. Henderson. They, yeah. I, I would still think they, they need a receiver here. But, um, again, if you look at the best available, it's defense. McKinley, Chase on, Kenneth Murray. So yeah. three, of the, three of the top five guys left are all defense. They could go defense again. I'm and there's a lot of linebackers. I mean, a lot of wide receivers left right. on the board, too. Um, they drafted a linebacker last year. They could go Kenneth Murray again and, and add another linebacker to that or Chase on. Well, they just took Chase on. Wonder, um, they took Chase on. All right. So, yeah. Right. Yo, is my boy there still on the team? The boy from um from Buffalo. What's his name? Um, we traded him over there. He's defensive tackle. Traded him to so, um, uh, Marcel Darius. Marcel Darius is still over there. Nah, I don't. He's not there. <laughs> yeah, this this pick of Chase on. I like this pick a lot for them. Yeah. This was a guy that I was actually talking about Atlanta taking at sixteen. He's really good. Um, Simmons gets all the praise, but this kid is the truth. This kid is the truth. And like I said, you add him with uh, some of the other guys they got over there. They, they drafted a young kid last year as a linebacker. Um, yeah. they, they, they got to redevelop it all. You know, the Jaguars, they're missing a lot of pieces because they traded Ramsey away. They traded A.J. Bouye away. Um, obviously, Calais Campbell's not there anymore. Uh, Dexter Fowler had got uh, – not Dexter Fowler um, – What's, what's the what's the kid's name? We got um, Josh Allen. Josh Allen last year. Josh Allen last year, yeah. but um, there was a pass rusher they had last name Fowler. I can't think of his first name. They went to the Rams. Dexter Fowler. Dexter Fowler, yeah. Is it Dexter Fowler? I'm, why is I'm, why am I thinking Dexter Fowler is a baseball player? No, he's a he's a he's a he's a uh, linebacker for the Rams too. Yeah. They still got I'm, for Miles some Jack. reason. I'm, Miles Jack is still over there. Miles Jack is still over there. Yeah. So. They got a couple pieces, but they they definitely got to revamp the uh, defense. Yeah, yeah. Josh, there's a new regime coming in. Wasn't Josh yeah, Allen? Yeah, Josh Allen's Giants. <laughs> what happened? Wasn't Josh the Giants were supposed to pick like Josh Allen last year? They, well, the, the the Giants the Giants passed on Josh Allen. They passed on Ed Oliver. Uh, uh, they, they passed on a couple guys um, when they took Daniel Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, uh, Daniel Jones had a, a, pre, a pretty good rookie season. So, at this point, you know, I'm okay with it. I think it's just it's going to be the same thing with this pick. It's just going to be one of those, you know, I hope this guy holds up. You know, hopefully he can get a couple of all pros in his career to make this thing worth it, that you didn't pick up somebody who most likely will have a lot of all pro seasons <laughs> with Simmons. So, 
you know, we got to kind of sit back, put our feet up. Hopefully. Yeah. No, I, I think, um, that, like I said, we're not, I'm not knocking the Daniel Jones pick because he played better than I thought. I just think that for the value, they were yeah, they could have traded down a little bit and, and you, still picked him up. Not even, you could have taken a better player at that spot and then still got Daniel Jones with that second first round pick. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Got more value for it, but it is what it is. Um, I may die out by the time the Eagles pick. It looks like the pick is in, but I'm letting y'all know I'm, 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 I'm in okay. critical condition right now. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, bro. Let's see. Let's see the division. That's like I think I, that's everybody I, in the division. It's the last one in the NFC East. Yeah, I think the Eagles got to take Justin Jefferson. Yeah, that's I gotta believe so too. Oh, well, yeah, I, I'm a, I'm a revamp that though. I, I think it's got to be Justin. It shows the pick is in. I don't show that who the pick is yet, unless you see it already. Well, they got um, it in. Uh, is he from Louisiana? Yeah, they got him. They're taking. They're, yeah, Justin Jefferson. Yeah, yeah. He's. It's. Oh, wait, well, they haven't officially announced it just yet, but he's on the phone right now, oh. so I'm assuming. Uh, yeah. I was gonna it's, say if not Jefferson, this could be McKinley because remember they lost Malcolm Jenkins. He went back to the oh, Saints. Yeah, you're right. So maybe. They go so this could be McKinley in this range right now. He's the best safety in the draft and definitely a right. difference maker. And McKinley, McKinley was a, was the top twenty talent, so this is his range. He would have he should have been off the board already. He's still here, um, but I do know that they had so many injuries on on their offense last year that passing the receiver is going to be really tough for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, yes, it's tough, but just because they don't have any receivers really. I think they they might you you kind of have to go pick. with Jefferson at this pick, but again, yeah, McKinley is I mean you know McKinley is McKinley best safety in the draft. Now All right, come on, come on, Eagles. And, and, be, and before I die out, before I die out, I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna say Minnesota is gonna take Winfield as you mentioned, legacy oh, baby. What? Is that dad it for the Vikings? The Vikings. <laughs> so, is that play for the Vikings? So I'm, I'm gonna go out on a limb. We drafted him. We drafted him. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, you had him. You had the, him. Uh, the Ravens so, took Orlando Brown Jr., you know, after having Orlando right. Brown. So, right. you know, they kind of do that because, you know, those kids be around the organization and whatnot. So, they stay both right. following them for some time. And then after them two teams, the Patriots are lurking. And that, I'm, that's the pick I'm really interested in seeing yeah. is the Patriots, who they take, because they didn't trade up to get a quarterback. However, if uh, if this kid um, is still available, the, the uh, was it Love, if he's still available, they may wind up going with him and just picking up their quarterback of the future. Now they may want they may want to do that. Jordan Love is still is still available. So Hold on. why the why the pick is why the pick is in? Let me try to run and get my charger real quick. See if I can just extend life here. All right, they're making the announcement now. Who are they going with? We're about to see in a second, ladies and gentlemen. Who the Eagles taking right now with this uh with, with the twenty first pick in the NFL draft? It'd be crazy if they reach and don't go no, no then they don't go wide receiver or safety, right? <laughs> Why, well, right? That that'd be hilarious. I mean, listen, I'm all for that. I don't talent on the board. <laughs> yeah, I don't need them improving. So if they if they do something stupid, I'm, I'm okay with it. Wow, they took Jalen Rieger. Wow, See? they took J- Jalen Rieger with that pick. See? That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> They Yo, that's crazy. What? I'm telling you. Wow. Oh, he's not. That's crazy. That is. I'm. Wow. I'm. This you know what? Drafts that we can remember. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I. You know what? I'm okay with it because it's the Eagles. Um. So that's cool. But uh, wow. He's the tenth ranked receiver in this draft, though. Like, I'm shocked. Yo, what's going on? Like, how? And, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how y'all just taking – y'all skipping over so many cats? Why are they showing his father's highlights right now? That's just – like, you're supposed to be showing his highlights. Uh, nobody wants to see his father's highlights. <laughs> so they didn't take Justin uh, Jefferson, uh, Eric, <laughs> which, is, which is crazy. They, they, I see. I see they didn't take him. They took Jalen Rager, which is a reach. Yeah. Because – uh, Rager was was projected to go late first, early second. Yeah, they they got him right ten. This is a guy. Yeah, again, this is a guy that everybody fell in love with his speed. Um, as you can see by his height, he's he's comparable to Tyreek Hill, but he wasn't that same game breaker that Tyreek Hill was when Tyreek Hill came out of college. Yeah. Oh, Hold on, let me let me move my seat over on this side. Hold on. 
I mean, listen again. I'm I'm okay with it just because it's the Eagles, so I'm I'm good. You don't want to take the best receiver available in the draft. I'm okay with that. Well, maybe maybe um the Vikings might take uh, Jefferson then. Yeah, I, like this changes things now because they definitely need a, a wide receiver. So maybe the Vikings do go Jefferson right now. So they gotta they gotta get a um, get somebody to fill that Diggs position. Um, I know they 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 were the ones um talking about trading for yeah. Odell Beckham Jr. Yeah, but hey, if you, if you can work it out and you can get Odell Beckham Jr. Yeah. still, now you got three, you know, really I'm good wide receivers. Yeah, but I'm 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 still surprised so, they would take him at that point. So yeah, that means, that means if we still were here, we would have t- probably took Jefferson too. We would have kept our pick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I probably would have yeah. up going with him because y'all definitely would have needed a wide receiver as well. Right. So if you're if you're Minnesota, do you take Jefferson? I think so. I mean, I mean, but the way things is going, they might go with the with the twentieth rank rank wide receiver. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't that's, know, man. That's, Cats are skipping that's over. That's always a, a tricky thing. Them. Yeah, that's always a tricky thing with the draft, man. You, these teams they fall in love with a guy, and we got to remember too. A lot of these teams they didn't get a chance to do one on one interviews with any of these yeah, guys. No. Yeah. So they're purely going off of the tape, whatever tape. they saw at the combine. You know, and that's yeah, but it. you got you had Higgins available, you had Justin Jefferson available. It does this I don't know, that's that's a tough one. But you know, like again, it's the Eagles. I'm okay with it. Y'all do it yeah, I'm, want. I'm surprised that uh Jefferson is still on the board. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, that's what well, you know, I didn't get it, but okay. So hopefully, you know, I think the, the Vikings gotta go Jefferson at this point now. Cause they're definitely they 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 need a uh, a receiver, so yeah. I think that's that's what we'll wind up seeing is is him going, but you know what? Maybe not. Maybe they go. Maybe they go defense and try to try to. Pick. Cause I you know every, people have been bouncing all over the place so far. So who who knows at this point? Oh, really quick. Um, let me shout out. I gotta shout out the uh, the the McCordy, uh twins. They uh they donated ninety thousand dollars worth of computers, um you know for I guess you know for kids that are that are gonna be homeschooling for the next couple of months. So big shout out to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I ever brought those those guys back on the show. The dudes who you had doing like this um the Duncan stuff with little kids. Oh, baby Dunk. Baby Dunk. Yeah. We uh shout out to Baby Dunk. We went to they had their media day, so we were one of the sponsors. So we sponsored uh, one of the teams that were playing. Um, we, we're definitely going to get them back because we still got to bring the kid that was named the MVP of the uh, media day onto the show. So once we uh, open things, you know, the studios open back up, we'll work on getting him and then we'll, we'll bring them back on the show. Those guys were good. And um, there's a little bit of, you know, we, we don't have too much sports going on right now. But there it has been another celebrity um golf match announced. Um Phil Mickelson and Tiger Woods will be going head to head again. Uh, but this time they'll be teaming up with Tom Brady and Peyton Manning. I don't know who's gonna be with who and how that whole thing is gonna work out. But what I do know that the uh the, the money that's generated from the event will also be going to a COVID-19 uh, release fund. So big shout out to all four of those gentlemen on putting that together. And usually I'm not a golf guy, but since we ain't got nothing else on, on TV and that's supposed to go down in uh, May, if, if, if we still ain't got nothing left, I'll definitely be tuned in for that one. We still got the Vikings on the clock, but it looks like the pick is in. So let's see where they go. I think I, it's, it's rough. But I think they go off. I think since uh, Jefferson is still available, they got to take Jefferson at this point. I think it makes the, the most sense. You take you take Jefferson here unless um, – I'm thinking about their secondary. Like I said, I, I do like Winfield for them, um, one, because of the legacy, but also – um, they let go of Xavier Rhodes, who went to the Colts. 
Um, Harrison Smith is getting a little older. So they could use the help in the secondary. But I think Jefferson just makes so much sense because they traded Diggs. Mm -hmm, yeah. Especially since he's still on the board. It's like, you know, at this point, yeah. you take the – it's a position that you need. You take the best guy that's available from who's, who's you think, left. You think Adam Thielen is a real number one or he's like a better number two? Uh, no, I think Thielen's a number one. He, he's a number one. Um, he, which would make it easier for Jefferson because Jefferson could just focus on being a downfield threat. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I think he is too. I know he was dealing with a, a couple of little ticky tack injuries um, late in the season this past year, but he's definitely a number one receiver. And, um, you know, I think Jefferson is a guy that can just kind of come in and fill right in, run deep route and keep them, keep those guys, guys afloat. You know, if they, if they get Odell in the trade, then that'll just make him even better. Do they got the cap room for Odell over there? <laughs> I would assume so because they've been negotiating the trade, and I know that uh, they don't have Stephon Diggs' contract um, weighing them down as well. So they should be able to, to make make it work. And then they'd have three really good receivers with uh, with Odell Thielen and Jefferson if they could manage to to pull that off. They've got Odell's money off their books, and they also have uh, Everson Griffin's money off their books as well. Yes. He's a free agent. So yeah. they could make it work. Um, and I've openly said that if they make the move for Odell, I think it's a great trade for them. Just from the standpoint, if you look at the initial outline of that deal, they're talking about giving up, I think, a second and a fourth for Odell. Wow. They were – they basically would be flipping the fourth round pick they got from the Bills and their own second round pick. So they picked up that first round from Buffalo, but wouldn't even have to give up a first round to get Odell, who to me is an upgrade. Oh yeah, so definitely. Okay, they, so yeah, they, so I, I think if, Jefferson, yeah. Okay, so so uh, the Vikings definitely it's finally some somebody listened to us and, and picked <laughs> the guy picked the guy that they should have picked in that in that spot, and, and the they, Vikings take Justin Jefferson. They, yeah, it makes perfect sense. Like I said, it makes absolute perfect sense. And if you're Justin Jefferson, this is the perfect landing spot for you. Like I said, they have Thielen. They still got uh, Kyle Rudolph. Delvin Cook. They've got Delvin Cook. Yeah. Um, they've got a defense that's ready-made. And, and, again, they were in the second round of the playoffs last year. So this isn't some rebuild situation. He's going to a team that's competing for a championship. Yeah. Trade? Hold on, do we have a trade? Because I don't see the, the Patriots up there on the board anymore. Chargers, the Chargers. Yeah, Patriots trade into the Chargers. So, okay. This so, is interesting. Yeah. That's a, we know the Patriots love to trade out. We know that the, the Patriots love to trade out. But this is interesting because I wonder who the Chargers are, tr are targeting here then that they would want to trade well, back into the first round. Yeah, because I'm trying to think cuz oh okay, so they they got the 37th pick in the um in the second round. So who are they taking? Unless they do they are they trying to trade up so they can draft a running back in the first round cuz I'm Nah, they're going with Austin Eckler next year. Eckler's their guy next year, they already said. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so then I'm... they have they good at safety, wonder, right? They got Derwin James from Florida State at yeah. safety. Unless, unless that you may, I mean, there they may be another safety they want there. They good at receiver. Um, yeah, so they don't need that. So maybe some, maybe another uh, lineman. Maybe they take it a, could be a lineman, or it could be the linebacker from um, from uh, Alabama. I believe it is Murray. Okay, now, I was hoping he was still on the board. To go to the Ravens because they say they say he's perfect uh, fit for the Ravens defense. That kid, uh, that kid Murray. But they already the Chargers knew who they wanted. They already ready. They on the they on the board with the picks. So. Yeah, this is yeah they they this is a guy that they already had their eye on. Well, how about Patrick not Queen? Only, now, now Patrick Queen is a very good selection at this point too. And he's a, he's the second best uh, linebacker in the draft. So I, either either way, it'd be a good pickup for them. I if guess the, they can, I'm gonna be honest. If the, if the Chargers get Queen here after they took Herbert with the first <laughs> pick, 
I mean, that's a really good first round for those guys. Okay, so the Patriots get a second and a third round pick out of them. Oh, wow. Well, that's not bad. Because um, the Chargers had the, uh, the the 37th pick, which is which will be the the fifth that's pick the, in the, the second round. Pick, yeah. Yep, that's the fifth pick in the second round. Yep. So that's actually pretty good. And, they, and the, the, the Patriots get a third. I guess, you know, the Patriots, whoever they wanted wasn't there. So – you know, they're, they're like, you know, we might as well just, just double up on the picks because there's nobody here we really want. And I guess they're not really too high on Jordan Love. So to, to, to take him with that 23rd pick, they were just like, yeah, you know, we could trade down. Well, we could do without this kid. He's, he's you know, he's not nothing special. All right, let's see who you guys are going with with this uh pick. Thompson, let's go. This is yeah. I can't. I guess the, they got to go defense then if they if they trade it back. Up. I think they're going defense. I think they're going defense. But it's going to be interesting to see who the player is because, like I said, that defense is loaded. That yeah. defense is really good. Bosa, okay. Ingram, we'll Derwin, they got some guys. Uh, Espinosa, what do you think about him? AJ Espinosa from Iowa. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's a. He's not your traditional pass rusher. He's he's a very physical guy, like a big motor, high motor type guy. Um, similar to a, a guy you guys had in Buffalo, like a Kyle Williams. Um, he's, he plays he plays end, so he's he's not as big as Kyle Williams, but that type of guy, like a, he brings a nastiness to yeah. the you know to the front four. They, he is the best pass rusher though in this uh, in this draft. That's left. Yeah. So no, yeah, I'm, I, I, as far as at, at the uh, tackle, defensive tackle position, they got him. They got him as, as the best uh, pass rusher in this uh, in this draft. Yeah, he's 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 a he's a in a good oh, way. Though. I don't mean it in a negative way. They took Kenneth Murray. Uh, I saw yeah Murray. I saw the linebacker. Yeah, hmm. he's the uh, the the third uh, ranked linebacker in this uh, in this draft. It made sense. Murray Murray was supposed to already be off the board at this point, but the Chargers, that, that's another ready-made defensive player. I'm telling you, man, okay. I know everybody's big on the Chiefs, and I like Mahomes, but the Chargers are building something defensively. Well, you got to. You got you to gotta have those speed guys that can get to Mahomes because you're going to play them twice a year. And then, you know, once you get to the playoffs, you might run into Lamar Jackson. Was also very they, mobile, so you got to you got to have speed. They, they, they've got the Chargers might be one of the sneaky teams this year. They got something. Yeah. Now, do you think they should have tried to keep keep uh, Philip Rivers for for one more year? <laughs> nah, I think I think it was a perfect time to move on. Um, a couple of factors were in play. One, his production last year wasn't that great. To Anthony Lynn got that new contract. So with Anthony Lynn security, now you can go younger. You yeah. don't have to worry about, you know, winning games right now. We can go younger. Um, and that's why they draft Justin Herbert because they understand that, you know, our head coach has a security. We don't yeah. need a guy who's who has to start right now. You can take your time with it and, and let, right. let, them, you, let the game come to them. Right. Take your time, develop it. And that's also um, – why Melvin Gordon is no longer there, I think, as well. I think Melvin Gordon kind of worked his way out of that with the way he handled his contract. So he's out of there. Phillip is out of there. But you still got a lot of those young guys. Hunter Henry at tight end. They got uh, Mike Williams at one receiver spot. They still got Keenan Allen, Austin Eckler. They yeah. they got some really good pieces. But I really I really like their defense. Yeah, so, man, I, both like the I like what they're doing on defense. Well, now, that, I mean, dra drafting Kenneth Ken Murray, that's going to help even more. With that, with, with that defense, because they got they got one of the top three linebackers in this draft. He's you know he's quick, so you you add like I said, you add a guy like Kenneth Murray uh, Murray with um what they already had coming off the ends with Ingram and Bosa. Yeah, like they, got they, they, they got they got Chris Harris. Yeah, too, they, right? they they got Chris Harris from the Broncos. Yeah, he's definitely coming over. It up. Yeah, they got Der Derwin James. He missed some time last year, but he's their do it all safety. They definitely they building something really good there in San. In, well, I was gonna say San Diego. They're the LA Chargers now. Yeah, they definitely moved. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, yeah, I'm, I'm looking. Oh, okay, we got New Orleans on the clock now. I wonder what New Orleans does. Yeah. 
with the twenty fourth. Maybe New Orleans may wind up taking uh that that the, the, the kid love. The the uh Nah the, because um I don't think they will because Taysom Hill is gonna be the backup. You believe in Taysom? Do you think you think Taysom Hill is is is, is gonna be the heir uh, apparent to to Drew Brees though? Uh, I think they're gonna at least give. Him, I think they're gonna give him at least a year to figure it out. If you take Jordan Love here, Jordan Love is gonna need at least two years to be ready. So you might as well go with Taysom, who's already been in the system for a few years. And and I mean, well, how many years you think Teddy Drew Brees has has left in him? I think Brees he got stay- one year because he signed he signed that 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 deal with uh what was with NBC. Oh, that's right. To be an announcer, but you know you, you don't think he yeah you know, he get make it the itch to come back again. He could, but again, Taysom Hill's already been in your system for a few years. So to bring in Jordan Love, like, are you going to try to mentor two young quarterbacks? I don't think I don't think they mentor two. I think this is um, this is a defensive pick, or they trade out of it maybe. Um, we could see McKinley go here. They got Lattimore yeah. on one side as a corner. They got I think they still got Eli Apple on the other side as a corner. So um, maybe they go safety and pick up the best safety in the draft. Right. Yeah, you might go best safety. Again, when you're a playoff team, you just take best available player. They're a playoff team. They we're not expecting them next year to be drafted in the top ten. They're they're gonna be in the playoffs again. So you take best available. Yeah, I mean, you know what? You maybe you might be right though too, Eric. Maybe they actually trade down because they don't have any second round draft picks. So maybe they do trade that trade that pick and get a second and a third round draft pick because they don't they don't come again until the eighty eighth pick in the third round. Right. So that and they're another team like you said. They since they don't have it, they're a perfect candidate to trade out, pick up more assets later in the draft. Um, yeah. The lower the lower you're selecting, the less guaranteed money you got to give up. And so, unless there's a guy they're absolutely in love with here, they've tried probably trade out of it. Yeah, so we shall see. They got about a minute left. They, they, and maybe they are trending because they going down to the wire right now with this pick. They got a minute now left. It's seven o'clock. Patrick Queen might actually be the fit here too. Oh yeah, they don't have the home. oh the linebackers. They don't have they don't have great linebackers, and also and he's Patrick second Queen. ranked in the in his draft too. So LSU kid, local product. Yeah. So I'm sure I'm sure they got a, a lot of good opportunities to see him play. Um, yeah, he'll probably definitely. come in and start from day one. Oh yeah, because they they definitely need that the help at, at they, that, yeah. that position. He'll he'll yeah he'll start from day one. Sean Payton donates plasma to help COVID nineteen patients. Okay, everybody got to do their Give part. Him a shout out for that. Give I'm just reading. Shout out for that. I was just reading it off the screen. I don't know if I was necessarily shouting them out, but <laughs> no, no, no. I was on because I was on. I was. I was just gonna say if you if you shout them out for that, make sure you shout out James Dolan because James Dolan's on the same thing. <laughs> Do we ever <laughs> shout out James Dolan for anything? We have. I don't think we've ever said a positive <laughs> word about James Dolan so on the either. show ever. <laughs> exactly. Ever. He, not ever. even for the, the Knicks fans don't even have positive things to say about ever. James Dolan. As, as a Nick fan, the moment I found out he he had uh, Corona, I actually said negative things about him. So I mean, just that. <laughs> <That's true>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I immediately i I immediately put out a vlog saying negative things about James Dolan. <laughs> so, you, you're not you're not that lucky, Eric. <laughs> you're not that lucky. Yeah, he'll be back. Sorry, <laughs> it's hard to he's, disappoint you. Un- <laughs> unfortunately, he survived. Unfortunately, yeah. He, he's he's still here, man. And all, all all jokes. So we 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 take the coronavirus very nah, serious, jokes, though, yeah. guys. It's, yeah, it's just for the folks saying, you know, people be sensitive sometimes, even though it's James Dolan. But still, it's just, it's just jokes, man. We just we just having fun here. Oh, really, really quick. Uh, let me say this to you guys at home. Make sure that you guys are following us on the web, uh, realfansrealtalk.com. Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Real Fans Real Talk, Instagram, Twitter, at Real Fan Talk, and make sure you guys subscribe to that YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash For The Fans Productions. This is actually going to be a YouTube exclusive. This is going straight 
to the YouTube channel. Again, as soon as we, we sign off, and within the next hour or so, this should be up on YouTube for all of you guys. Oh, Ness, you want to give them, give them the info, give them all the info really quick for the podcast and, and where they can catch you at while we're waiting on the Vikings? Uh, well, my podcast has been uh, out of commission right now. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I got the Hot Seat Podcast. Um, still working on a couple of things for you up in a back up in a couple of months. So look out for that. Well, hopefully when things open back up, the Hot Seat Podcast open back up as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, Really quickly, guys, I know the same thing. It's about to bring it in. Uh, my man, D.C. Troy, chilling in his man cave right here, man. Um, he just put me on to some news. Nah, nah, all jokes out. He just put me on to some news, though. Um, Dak Prescott's brother passed away. I don't know mm. how that's going to play into the negotiations, but the Cowboys actually just released a statement um, in regards to that as well. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. I, yeah. Actually, you know what? That might actually help him get his money. That might push the, push the yeah. process forward. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's it, you know, we'll have to see how that plays into the negotiations going on right now. Yeah. Um, and the the Saints pick is in. I'm uh, let's see what it is here. That's they go linebacker. This kid was no, no they went O line. They went O line. He's not starting right away for them. This will be uh, this will be a a long term development plan with him. He he was projected to go late first early second played at Michigan oh he's well he's no yes yeah, oh he's actually he's the best uh center in the draft yeah he was like I say he was projected to go late first early second but yeah. he's not he's I don't think he's gonna start for them right away their old line was pretty solid last year yeah so which is good because he can just uh study but he's definitely they got yeah. him he's, he's a he's a local kid though he's from Jersey man yeah, they got him as the best uh, pass blocker in this draft, the best zone blocker in this draft, and the best day one uh, starter in this draft. So it's, it's pretty big. I was I was hoping the Giants would have actually traded traded up to get him, but I I, I thought he would still been around a little bit later. I don't th- think they were going to trade this high up to uh to to go after this kid. But if he was still there. Around like you know twenty twenty nine, twenty eight twenty nine, then I think they would have did it. But okay, so Jordan Love is still on the board. We got the Vikings on the clock again. Where do the where, where do the Vikings go ahead? Do they do they go back to defense? Do they go pick up another offensive player? Um. So. I'm not sure who their offensive coordinator is now. I was going to say you, you're in the range now where you could actually pick up a really good running back to kind of be the backup and possibly heir parent to Delvin Cook. How old is um, Delvin Cook? I thought he was only like 28, 29. How, how old is he? He's, no, he's, he's, he's still young. But <coughs> I mean, I guess that's still old just, for running back, so. Right. Don't, the, the, don't they, Matt, Madison is still over there, right? They got a, a good running back, Madison, right? Yeah, but it, again, you're still in the range where you could pick up a guy who who could basically be the guy to take over for him if you decide you don't want to pay Cook long term. Right. Or do they take um, a, a defensive end to uh, replace Everson Griffin, or at least they try could to go that route as well? Yeah, but they lost they lost the, they lost their corners too, right? What corners they have? They so, lost Xavier Rhodes. And um, lost- now this could be the Winfield pick. I know oh, we we threw it out there trade. early, but this could be Winfield. Got a trade yeah. alert. Vikings uh, trade the 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 pick to the to the Forty ers Okay, so who did, where did the Forty ers go hmm. from here now? Because do they go wide receiver so the now? The Vikings trade the pick to the Forty ers Yeah. So the, and okay, so the Vikings will pick at thirty one. <clears throat> so the Vikings may wind up taking in Swan Whitfield Jr. If, if at thirty one, right? Yeah. They lost Rose. They lost Trey Wayne. Trey Wayne is gone too. Yeah, so, they lost both their corners. Corners, so um, so it's interesting. Do the do the Niners go with the receiver here? I'm assuming that receiver would probably be uh, Mims from Baylor. Yeah, Denzel Mims. But you know, who knows? Maybe maybe they want to pick the 20th ranked receiver. 
they things have been been a little bit weird on this draft. So we gotta we gotta we gotta wait and see. Niners secondary is pretty good, so I think McKinley's up way up. It's probably not in play here. Yeah, I, I didn't but think so. then again, I mean, you never know. They they might they might Double think so up. highly of them. Yeah. Well, sure. If not, I, then I think Miami goes after him with the with the twenty six pick. They I got to they got to go at that point. They got quarterback, and they got their got offensive going. lineman. Yeah. So maybe Miami goes McKinley after that. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Real talk.